Joyride, uh, California with Brad Pitt. That's a good film. Kingdom Hospital, Stephen King, the uh, complete in the complete series. Lake Placid, fun little alligator film or crocodile film. Leatherface, uh, Texas Chainsaw 3. Legend of Hell House, that's a good creepy ghost story, kind of. Um, Leprechaun, triple feature pack. The Mad Butcher, they're one of these something weird titles, very bizarre. Uh, Man's Best Friend, uh, Misery, that's a classic. The Mothman Prophecies, that's kind of creepy actually, supposedly based on a true story. Got My Bloody Valentine, the uh, 80s, which I like better than the remake. I didn't, I wasn't a real fan of the remake. It wasn't terrible, but not my favorite. Night of the Comet, which I've not seen yet. Everybody tells me it's a great 80s film. Gotta check it out. Night of the Demons, Night of the Living Dead, um, Stephen King Nightmares and Dreamscapes, the complete series. 976 Evil, Ninth Gate, we got Of Unknown Origin with Peter Weller, I've not watched this one yet. Um, the Omen, One Hour Photo, pretty creepy film with Robin Williams. Open Water, if you folks uh, have a fear of the ocean or sharks, uh, this one will drive you insane. Uh, the Orphanage, just a nice uh, sort of supernatural film, great film. The Others with Nicole Kidman. Um, it's kind of dark if you even see that. Sorry about the lighting, folks. Just over in this corner. Um, Outbreak. We got Outpost. We got uh, Pacific Heights. Panic Room. Pet Cemetery. Phantasm. Plan 9 from Outer Space. Cheesy Ed Wood film. I told you I put all these in with my horror, so... Certainly not horror, but definitely cheesy sci-fi. Poltergeist 2 and 3. Premonition, Asian horror. I haven't seen that one yet. Prince of Darkness, John Carpenter. That's a classic. Psycho, uh, another classic. Uh, <laughs> who hasn't seen Psycho? Pulse, uh, this is a interesting film where electronics go haywire, and uh, I enjoyed it. And then we have Pulse. This is the Asian horror, which is not related at all to this other Pulse, but it's a creepy film if you guys haven't seen it. Uh, don't watch the remake of this either. Pretty bad. Raising Cain, Red Eye. We have uh, Red Dragon. Resident Evil, Resident Evil Apocalypse. Uh, Stephen King's Riding the Bullet, which wasn't a bad sort of mini series. The Ring, which I thought was a fantastic, creepy remake. Uh, Rise. Um, that's some Blood Hunter, like a vampire movie with Lucy Liu. The River Wild, which is more of a suspense, but uh, like I said, I put all these kind of in the same section together. Stephen King's Rose Red, great. Salem's Lot, fantastic. Uh, Toby Hooper film, if you guys haven't seen this one, uh, it'll creep you out. One of the best vampire films. Um, Saw Trilogy, Saw 5, Scanners, Scarecrows, that's a fun film. This is a 50 movie pack, another one, Sci-Fi Classics. Um, Secret Window, which is not too bad with Johnny Depp. Uh, Seven, uh, The Shining, that's classic. The Silence of the Lambs. Let's move up here, and we have Silver Bullet, which is a great one with uh, Corey Haim, Gary Busey. Uh, the Sixth Sense, uh, Sleepaway Camp, Sleepwalkers, a very weird film. Um, Slither. Someone's Watching Me. It was a pretty suspenseful John Carpenter uh, made-for-TV film with Lauren Hutton. P pretty good. Definitely worth a look. Species 2, Sphere. I enjoyed this one. Not near as good as the book, though. If you guys want to read the book of Sphere, it's fantastic. The Stepfather. This is the, this is the uh, newest uh, nice release from, I believe it's uh, Shout Factory. Sorry if you heard a buzz there. That was my dryer stopping. But Stepfather from Shout Factory. Stir of Echoes. It's a creepy film with Kevin Bacon. Uh, Storm of the Century. Swim fan, I like that movie. And watch it in a while. I may watch that one again at some point. The stuff, this has some fantastic cover art. You guys have certainly seen that before. Funny little weird, strange film, but uh, worth watching. Taking Lives, um, A Tale of Two Sisters, creepy Asian horror, definitely worth looking at. Terror Tunes, very bizarre film, but I had fun with it. Uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre Steel Book. This is the one of the best editions to get if you guys don't have this. Uh, it's great, and this is certainly a classic film and one worthy of watching on Halloween. They Live, John Carpenter. John Carpenter's The Thing, phenomenal. 13 Ghosts, uh, we have Three Extremes. It's an Asian, it has some weird stories on it. Uh, Tommy, which is another Asian film. I haven't seen this one. Tommy Knockers, you have, uh, Torture Garden. Tourist Trap, which is a nice little creepy kind of wax museum type 
film. You guys check out Tourist Trap if you haven't. 28 Days Later, uh, Undead, pretty cool zombie flick. Urban Legend, uh, Urban Legend's Bloody Mary, which I haven't seen yet. Man, I'm losing light here, sorry about that. Uh, v, the original miniseries. My light is fading. So you guys see this at all. Vacancy, nice suspenseful film with uh, Luke Wilson. Uh, you guys definitely check out Vacancy if you haven't seen it. It's really uh, unnerving or whatever. Uh, Valentine, I like this one. It's a underrated slasher. A lot of people don't like it, but uh, I really had fun with it, and I've seen it multiple times, and it, it's still good every time. I really enjoy it. It's just a lot of fun. Uh, the, the killer wears like a chair mask. Pretty creepy. John Carpenter's Vampires. We have um, Vampire Hunters, which is more of a, I think, a martial arts kind of horror. And Vincent Price uh, collection here. What Lies Beneath, which I thought was a very creepy film. Hadn't seen it in a while. The Willies, this is a fun horror film. Whisper, have not seen this one yet, but I heard it's good. Uh, Wishmaster, one and two. This is Witchboard. It's an Asian horror, uh, Bun, Bun Shin Shaba, which I, was not as good as the trailer, but I still enjoyed it. Fairly creepy. Not near as creepy as I thought, but definitely worth a look. Wolfen, this has some wicked cover art on it. Look at that. Awesome. Haven't seen that one in a while either. I need to watch that one again. Wrong Turn, I had a lot of fun with this one. The X-Files, which of course is more of a sci-fi, but it's in there. Uh, Zombie Lake, very crappy, cheesy film, but gotta love that cover art. Some of the best. Up here on top of my shelf, I have a few more of these horror-type box sets. We've got The Walking Dead, Mutant Monsters. This is The Shriek Show, uh, The Dark, The Being, Creatures from the Abyss, uh, Bloody School Girls with Girls Night Out, One Dark Night, and Blood Sisters. Of course, the obligatory and fantastic The Nightmare on Elm Street collection which is out of print, but worth every penny here. Um, I got it a long time ago when it was in print. Uh, we got British Horror Frightmare, House of Whipcord, Flesh and Blood Show, and Die Screaming Mary Ann, another nice Shriek Show box set. Dawn of the Dead Ultimate Edition. That's the one to have if you like Dawn of the Dead. This is the Saw Trilogy Puppet Head box set. I love this one. It's got the first three films. The packaging's great. Evil Dead 210. Um, that's great. And Zombie 2 from Shriek Show, which is a, a zombie film everyone should own. John Carpenter's The Fog here on CED, which is nice. I don't have a player, but cool cover art and got it displayed there. I'm going to jump through these Blu-rays right quick because my camera, I believe, is about to die. But we have American Psycho, American Werewolf in London, um, Army of Darkness. Um, we have um, Children of the Corn, Close Encounter of the Third Kind, which is kind of a sci-fi, obviously. You guys know that. Dawn of the Dead, the remake, which was great. Um, we have Freddy vs. Jason, Friday the 13th, the reimagining. Not really a remake, but I enjoyed it, the reimagining. Uh, Friday the 13th, part 2 and part 3, 3D. I don't know why I don't have the first one yet, but I, I do plan to pick that up. Um, Halloween, of course. Um, House of the Dead, which is a great throwback to these 80s slashers. The, heart, the uh, cover art looks like the big box artwork. It's great. This was even released on VHS, but this is definitely worth a look if you have not, guys have not seen it. The House of the Devil, Lost Boys, um, Monster Squad, more of a horror comedy. Um, Near Dark, a nice vampire film from Catherine Bigelow. You got Poltergeist, the Blue Book version, fantastic. Uh, the Shining, you guys got to see this on Blu-ray if you haven't. It looks phenomenal. The Silence of the Lambs, and John Carpenter's The Thing on Blu-ray. And I believe, if you want to count Zodiac, uh, that's that one. And then HD DVD, I have White Noise, uh, Tremors, I guess you could kind of count that a goofy horror. And that's it for that. So uh, my camera's about to crap out here. I'll, I'll end on my nice Reagan bobblehead here with the bed bobbles and everything. And heck, let's, why not? Let's go and take a look at Hellraiser, that pinhead over here from Aussie Roadshow lovely and then finally let's look at my billy from saul on the bicycle gotta love it happy halloween early folks uh if you stuck this video out thanks uh just thought you might want to see some horror films and uh yeah you guys have some fun going back and watching them um and make a video response if you want let me know what you're gonna watch peace